This is just a quick kind of part two to explain how I actually record uh, without a recording engineer in my home studio when I'm tracking drums. So uh, the most important part to note is I mirror my iMac display into my drum room. So in that room, I've got an LG TV. Uh, I think it's like a 43 inch and I have that set to mirror my display. Um, so here are the display settings for the LG TV. So I have it optimized for the iMac because uh, this is a 1440p display. And then I have a 4K monitor um, in the drum room, which is the LG. Um, that allows me to see the entire display um, in Pro Tools, which is really important. Because um, for example, if I was using a 1080p, display in that room, I uh, wouldn't be able to see the entire monitor easily. Um, the entire Pro Tools interface, which you'll see in a minute why that's important. So when I'm in here, um, I have this LG display, it's mirroring the desktop. And as you can see, I can see the entire Pro Tools window, which is important so I can access the menus at the top, um, like the Mac menu for Mac OS, and then also See, if I had a 1080p display in here, I wouldn't be able to see all that because it wouldn't show because the display is too small. So if you're going to do this, you want to make sure you have at least like a 1440p monitor. Um, 1080p is not going to work well. Um, you'd ideally just want to get a 4K monitor. Uh, and then I have in here a Bluetooth uh, trackpad and a Bluetooth keyboard. So... Um, when I'm doing this, you'll see I can control everything from in here. See, uh, where is that? See me moving the cursor so I can go in, I can start, I can stop, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> um, and then the same goes for the, the keyboard. So like I can start. So, uh, yeah, what I do is really simple. Just hit the space bar in here and then start drumming here. And then, um, you know, obviously I can stop and start and uh, punch in right from my little station there with the keyboard and everything. So, yeah, that's how I do it.